FPV starter kits are a very good way to get into the hobby. In one of these boxes you get everything that you need. You have goggles, you have drones, you have radio, you have batteries, batteries and you have even chargers for those batteries. You normally open one of these ones, charge your batteries and go and fly, which is something that is very good when you don't know anything about the hobby. Today I'm going to be comparing two of them, the Beta FPV Cetus and the Gepard C Tiny Go 4K. We will see what's in each one of these boxes and I will let you decide which one of them is worth your money. Let's start looking at the cases. The Beta FPV case, it's more like a handbag. It's very sturdy and it keeps everything inside nicely protected. The Gepar C1 is more of a bag. You have this that you can carry on your shoulder and if you look inside you're going to see that they have spaces for everything separated by dividers like this one. So you can rearrange the space that you have inside in order to fit whatever you want to fit. The Beta FPV1 has space that is dedicated to each one of the items. The drone space is very well protected. This drone is not going to move out of there and nothing is going to be on top or bother it at all. And the same happens with the radio and the goggles. Everything is in its place and it's very well seated so nothing is going to be moving around. You have this pocket here where you can have loose things and it has a zipper so things don't come out of place. The Gepard C1 on the other hand has just one zipper here on the top for loose things and as I said before inside is you arrange the space as you want with the dividers and you fit whatever you want inside. In my personal opinion I think the Beta FPV case wins this round because everything is like well thought. Everything has a place, you have everything secure, nothing is moving around, nothing is going to get out of place and bother or scratch anything else. Now let's talk about batteries and chargers. The Beta FPV charger, it's pretty small, USB-C, charges two batteries at the same time. But what's interesting about this charger is that it also works as a battery checker which is pretty cool, in my opinion. Beta FPV includes two of these batteries, 300 million pair with the case or with the kit, which is enough to fly it for maybe 10 minutes at a time. The Beta FPV uses a connector that is kind of special for Beta FPV. It's called the BT 2.0. And you find it most of it on Beta FPV drones. I don't know if there is any kind of license or something around it but I haven't seen other manufacturers using this connector. Battery manufacturers are starting to do batteries with this BT 2.0 connector but if you get the Cetus kit you're going to be needing these kind of batteries and you're going to be able to charge only B2 2.0 batteries with this charger. In the case of Gepard C the charger is much simpler is USB-A compared to USB-C from the Beta FPV charger. But this one has place for four batteries. It also charges high voltage batteries, which I'm not pretty sure the Beta FPV does. The kit comes with four batteries, 530 million pair. This drone uses two batteries at a time and it's going to give you a similar flight time out of the box, something around four minutes per two batteries which means eight to ten minutes of flight time if you charge the four of them at the same time. Gepard C uses PH 2.0 batteries which means that they are much more common and you're going to be able to find many other manufacturers doing the batteries that you need to fly your Gepard C drone. In the case of batteries and chargers I don't see anything very special from any of the two of them which is the reason why I'm gonna call this round a tie. Let's move on with goggles. In all honesty, goggles are the weak spot of any starter kit in my opinion. That's normally the place where manufacturers try to save more money, giving you something that is useful but very, very basic. 
With these two kits, neither of these goggles is comfortable to be wearing. You're going to be a little bit tired after a while because the rubber, the foam that you have here is, is nothing good. The Beta FPV is very, very thin. So you're going to be having these plastic edges kind of in your face all the time, which at the, at the long run is not going to be very comfortable. Gepard C goggles are a little bit bigger than Beta FPV. But again, that doesn't mean that they're gonna be much more comfortable. Both of them has decent image quality, so it's gonna be perfectly okay to start flying with these goggles. In general, both of them are kind of similar. You get decent video, you get something that works with what you got. I would say that the distinctive part of them is that the Gepard C1 can have a SD card in here and record when you are flying directly on a DVR that is on the goggles. So despite that I don't like any of these two, I think I'm gonna have to give this round to GEPRC just because of the fact that they have a DVR that you can use to record your flies and show to your friends or show it in YouTube or anything that you want to do with that uh, recording. The radio is one of the most important parts of any of these kits and something that you have to pay close attention to. The GEPRC radio feels extremely cheap it resembles more as a toy than a FPV radio. The gimbal feels like a toy. And to be honest, it doesn't weigh anything. So again, you feel like you're holding a toy instead of an FPV radio. The Gepard C radio doesn't have an internal battery, which means that you cannot charge it with a USB cable connected. And the biggest mistake of this radio is that you cannot use it with a simulator. Beta FPV radio, it's much more done like a regular FPV radio. It comes with a protector for the gimbals. It sits comfortable on their hands. You have the switches in a nice position when you're flying. The gimbals are nothing special, but they will get the job done. The radio can charge with USB-C, which is pretty important because it has an internal battery and you don't have to change it or anything. And I would think that the most important part of it is that you can use this radio in a simulator when you connect it to your computer. When you're starting in the hobby or even later, a simulator is important to be able to use it because you can always train your moves in the simulator before you can try it in real life. So having access to a radio that allows you to connect to your computer and use some of those simulators, in my opinion, is very important. The fact that Gepard C radio doesn't connect to the simulator means directly for me that this round is won by the Beta FPV radio. I have heard a lot of claims saying that the quality of the Beta FPV radio is not the best. And actually in my case, I needed to replace the radio from the kit. But anyway, I would say that the way that this radio is thought is much better for FPV than the radio of the Gepard C. The Beta FPV drone is nothing very special. It uses brush motors, which means that they're gonna last less than many other drones. It also introduced some new flying modes where you can have stabilization and even holding altitude. But those modes don't really work very well. I have a full review of this drone in another video that I'm going to link in the description if you want to see all that. And the fact that this drone doesn't use beta flight, it's also a little bit of a turnoff. Even if you're new to the hobby, at some point you're gonna have to do some configuration and do some changes. And it's going to be much more difficult with this drone than with any other drone in the market. Gepard C drone, it's amazing. If you buy an SD card and you insert it in the drone itself, you're going to be able to record 4K directly from the drone. It also has a very good VTX, which means that you're gonna get good range flying with this drone and having good image on your goggles. But the weak point of this drone is actually the protocol that uses to communicate with the radio. The drone uses Futaba as a communication protocol, which means that this drone speaks only to this radio. 
If in the future you decide that this drone is good, but you want to use it with another radio, you're going to have to change the receiver in the radio. To change the receiver is nothing very complicated, and I think they even designed it with the idea that you could do it very easily, or you can access very easily the receiver in order to change it in the future. But still, it's something that you have to think about it when you buy this. Do you want to get into that? Do you want to solder a new receiver? Something to keep in mind. When it comes to the drones, I have to give this round to GEPRC. The drone is much better, in my opinion, than the Cetus. The 2S battery allows you to fly outdoors and indoors without any problem. The 4K recording capabilities allows you to share what you are flying with your friends and family. And the drone holds very well itself while flying and crashing as well. The key of any kit is to allow you to experience the FPV world the simplest way possible. And in that sense, I think both of these kits achieve that goal. Small difference, but I presented you with the facts today so you can evaluate yourself which one is better in your case. This is all for now, and I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.